As I've started to do more home theater consulting sessions, one of the things that I find myself kind of repeatedly having conversations with folks about as they're kind of designing and thinking about setting up a dedicated projection-based home theater space is screen aspect ratio. Now, when I did my original theater room some years ago, I originally opted for a 16-9 screen, 135 inches diagonal. However, when I rebuilt the room just a few years ago, or just about a year ago, I switched that up for a 235 scope aspect ratio screen. So I've been able to experience both, and I think there's definitely some reasons why you may have a preference for choosing one over the other. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about kind of the virtues and the reasons why you may want to opt for a 16-9 aspect ratio screen in your home theater, and I'll make a separate one about why you may wanna opt for a scope screen. So one of the important things to consider in this decision ultimately, and why you may want a 16-9, it has to do with your content preferences. So if you're watching stuff or primarily you're going to use your space where the content you're watching naturally or most often may be in a 16-9 aspect ratio, then I would suggest considering matching the screen to that content. So maybe you're building a combined space, a projection setup, and you're a sports fanatic and you're going to be watching a lot of sports. Well, there's no ultra widescreen or scope sports. Maybe you're gaming, console gaming specifically, Pretty much everything in the council space nowadays is 16 by 9. Or you just kind of like regular broadcast television, normal shows, not kind of premium shows. Granted, I think a lot of folks watching the channel or thinking about building a dedicated home theater space may have a little bit more of a content preference towards movies and cinematic experiences. So I'll talk about that in the scope video. But again, if you're doing sports, you're doing these kind of more, I would call them regular types of content that will naturally be 16.9, then you make things a whole lot simpler to just match your screen to that content. The second reason I would, I would strongly consider or have a preference toward a 16.9 screen is if one of two things is your situation. One, you don't intend to spend and you don't want to make the commitment to consider adding some type of video processor to your setup. These are expensive devices and they solve problems for scope screens that they just don't have to solve for 16.9. And what I'm talking about is a Lumigen or a Mad VR or something like that. The other thing would be you don't have any patience to kind of operate or interact or automate being able to manage aspect ratios with lens memory settings that may be built specifically into your projector. So 16.9 is definitely like the no fuss uh, type of option, meaning you'll be able to fix the image on your screen exactly one time, one set of zoom, focus, and shifting locations, your projector will stay locked in that one lens memory setting, and you don't have to do anything else. You're gonna get black bars, but in any screen aspect ratio choice, you're likely going to get black bars unless you choose to do stretchings and other things like that. So it's really a matter of kind of which black bar elements would you prefer, and if you choose a 16.9, you're gonna have some black bars above or below the image with certain types of content, but at least to manage that, you don't really, again, have to do anything. You set up your projector once, one set of settings, no manipulation, no management, and less of a value to buy an expensive video processor in that setup. So again, kind of more of like the budget choice, the simplified choice, the less hassle factor choice, depending on how you're gonna use your room and to what level of complexity maybe you wanna to add to it. For the third element, I think it really kind of boils down to space. Now, are you limited in width? Are you limited in height? Do you have more height than you have width? Or certain other logistics kind of of your room and the way it's gonna to go together. When I did my theater the first time, I didn't have architectural speakers. I had in-room speakers, I bought towers. And again, I in any given space, you only have so much addressable height and you only have so much addressable width. So in my first choice with towers, the light path of the projector needed to go through the middle basically of those towers. I didn't even really have a choice in that case for a scope screen. Otherwise, I would have forced my towers to be far too far out to the wings of the room. They would have been up against the outer walls and that wouldn't have been great for audio or acoustical placement. So in that first cut, I opted for the 16.9 screen and I went as high as I felt reasonably comfortable for my viewing distance. That was a 135 inch scope screen at a little less than 14 feet viewing distance. I thought it was very comfortable immersive and awesome, but not too big and not too small. So if you have a tight room and you don't have width and you're putting speakers in the room or you just flat out can't get 
you know, a wider screen in there. You may be forced, you may be constrained to be 16.9 anyway, and that's fine. We all deal with logistical challenges and kind of specific aspects of our rooms and our spaces and what we're working with that probably force certain decisions in our designs and in our choices, and so be it, we all deal with it. So those are some reasons why you may wanna opt for a 16.9. Having experienced both, I definitely know where my preference lies. I don't think cost difference between the two is really a big factor, particularly anymore. It really doesn't make a difference in terms of like materials that you could use for one or the other. All of the build aspects and design elements of the screens that these manufacturers make are pretty much at parity with each other in terms of the aspect ratio decision. So I think all of that other kind of stuff is a, is a non-factor and a non-starter in making this choice. So I'm curious what you think. Did I overlook something? Sound off in the comments. Did you choose specifically choose a 16.9 screen for design elements or logistical elements or a preference in your room? Share that story so that other folks that have to make the same decision can see more information to help them make the right one for them. Because the last thing you want to do is what I did, is buy one and then a couple years later switch to the other one. Screens are the type of equipment in our home theaters that really you can buy once and use them for a very, very long time. So you want to make a good decision. You want to buy a, a nice quality screen. Projectors and technology and other aspects of our systems will change over. But again, we can be using the screens that we buy for a long time. And I'll also say that speaking from experience, screens don't have really great resale value. So if in fact you do put a decent amount of money into a screen and you decide that you want to change it later, prepare to take a considerably smaller fraction of the original MSRP or what you might have paid for that screen when you sell it on the secondary market. So that's all I've got for this one. Check out the other video on preferences or reasons why you may want to do a scope aspect ratio instead. If you'd like to support the channel, check out the description below, affiliate links, super thanks, all of that. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, share the video, and come on back for more home theater discussion and fun.